Hello friends, welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Kayla and I am so excited to see all of you. While the Met is closed, we hope you'll join us every Thursday at 12 p.m. for a new story and activity. But for now, let's take a seat and get started with our Storytime song, Just Like at the Museum. It goes to the tune of This Old Man. I would love if you would sing and clap along with me on the count of three, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now let's take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Great singing, everyone. Thank you so much. Now our book for today is one of my all time favorites. It's called Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. Are we ready to get started? I'll read the words, but I'll need your help looking carefully and closely at the pictures. Can you do that for me? Okay, cool. Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown had a problem. His cows liked to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Then, he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. What do you think Farmer Brown is feeling right now? So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Can you say it with me? Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Very nice. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the door, closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Uh oh. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. All night long, 
The cows held an emergency meeting. The animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. What do you see in this picture? I see hens and I see cows and I see electric blankets. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. The end. Great listening, friends. Thank you so much. While we were reading that story, it reminded me of a print in the Mets collection called A Taste for the Fine Arts by Courier and Ives. What do you see in this print? I see three cows. What do you think the cows are making? It looks to me like two of the cows are standing in front of a canvas. What do you think the cows want to say? That's something that I want to explore with you in a simple project that you can do at home that I want to talk about before we say goodbye for this week. In the story we read and in the print that we looked at, we saw some cows. Can we make the sound of a cow on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. Moo! Very nice job, friends. But in the story and in the print, we saw the, cow, the cows communicate in other ways too. In the story, the cows wrote notes to Farmer Brown, and in the print, the cows were painting. What do you think they wanted to say? Today, we can explore that by creating letters. Have an adult help you write a letter or draw a letter, either from the point of view of a cow or from your own point of view to a friend. Today, I drew this letter from the point of view of a cow. I'm so excited to see all the amazing letters that you all create. And I'm so happy that you joined me for story time this week. I hope you'll join us again next week for another story and activity to do at home. Thank you so much. Bye friends.